Hello and welcome to this uh, first lecture in this new section on talent retention. In this course on how to become an excellent HR generalist. So in this section what we will do is to give you an in-depth understanding of how to retain your talent to become an excellent HR journalist and build a great career in HR. And in this particular lecture we will talk about two things. Uh, what do we mean by talent retention and what is that overall, is there an overall retention process, talent retention process that we can look at? We will talk about that in this lecture. So any thoughts? How to best retain your talent? How to maximize your talent retention? Any thoughts on that? So before we get into how to retain talent, let's understand what do we mean by talent retention. And in that, let's first define what is talent. There's very, very important first to understand that we don't want to retain every person in the organization because there will be certain people who are, we are happy to let them go. But there are certain people that we call talent that we would like to retain. So what, how do we define the talent? Any, any thoughts? So uh, as you see in the chart here is that there are, we broadly say there are four kinds of people in an organization. There are people who are not capable, that means they can't do the job assigned and they don't want to do that. And these are the people I have in mind when I say, we don't mind let them go. Actually, we will pursue them to go act because they will not be able to perform on the job because they don't have the capabilities and they don't have the motivation. Then there are people uh, on the outside who can do, who have the capability, but who will not do, who are not motivated to perform today, but they have the capability. So these are the people one needs to counsel, one needs to sit together, understand what is causing them not to uh, perform because of their motivation, what is causing their motivation not to be aligned with the organization. And that it is the manager's job to basically see how can we get them motivated. The third kind of people are who don't have the capabilities, who cannot do, but who are interested in doing. They are hugely passionate about wanting to perform on the job, but they lack the skills, knowledge, whatever is needed to perform on the job. And finally, there is this talented group of people who have both, who are passionate about their job, who are very motivated to do what they want to do, and who have the required skills and capabilities to do what is required from the job. And this is what we call as talent. So obviously in an organization our interest is to retain this talent who can, can do and will do. Uh, develop people who cannot do but will do. Motivate the people who can do but are not able to do and let go of people in a nice way who will not do and cannot do. So how to retain the talent is the question. Over a period of time, we would like those talented people who have the skills and knowledge and who can perform on the job because they are hugely motivated as well as they can perform, they do have the skills and knowledge to perform. So how to retain this talent? How to keep the best? Any thoughts? So what you need to do is uh, in this, in this uh, four steps uh, that you can see, first identify the talent to be retained. You surely don't want to retain the people who are neither motivated nor skilled. But you want to look at, so you need to identify the talent first thing. Second, having identified the talent, you need to understand their aspirations about their motivations and aspirations. What is it that they want to achieve in life? And what will motivate them? And also at the same time, understand what, what skills and knowledge for future do you need to develop for them? Then what you need to do is to assess how well are you ready to meet their aspirations. Are it ready in terms of your organizational readiness rather than willingness. So assess how well, how ready are you to meet their aspirations. Your organizational readiness in terms of, because the talented people have a little out of line requirements in terms of either their motivation or aspirations. And we will have to uh, bend the rules a bit 
uh, make the new rules that can uh, we can uh, uh, use to motivate them and uh, meet their aspirations. And then we do to, what we need to do is the development, develop the plans to address the gaps. So retain the talent requires you to take a different view of things at this as it happens. This is not normal run of the mill. Uh, HR operations. So HR journalists, you will have to understand motivations, aspirations and tweak the rules or make new rules that can make them stay with you. So having understood uh, what do we do next, having understood the overall process of how do we retain talent, what do we do next? So in the next we will look at how do we identify these talented set of people. So thank you so much for watching this uh, first lecture in talent retention. I hope you continue to learn something new, continue to enjoy and I look forward to see you again in the next lecture.